All right, I need to get this off my chest about now. The World vs. World participation reward system is probably the worst reward system I've seen in this game ever. Yet every World vs. World player and their grandma hails it as being fucking amazing. It's not. And I'll tell you why. Now, first of all, I'm not just going to sit here and bash the system. Instead, I would like to highlight a glaring issue with it in order to give some constructive criticism in terms of what the World vs. World reward track system may actually need to become truly amazing and why. Perhaps this video is better intended for the World vs. World devs, but hey. Before going into the subject, I'd like to point out one thing though. I am not an active World vs. World player anymore. I lost my server pride years ago and any world this world that I partake in is simply for my own personal gain one way or another. And so you can see how perhaps my point of view may be somewhat tilted in a particular direction on this subject. That said though, I still respect world vs world for what it is and what it's attempting to be, so to speak. And I would love to actually be incentivized to play this game mode properly. I've long wanted a reason to actually step foot in World vs. World, though my server pride was gone, but it's just not really been a thing. World vs. World as a game mode is not my preferred area of expertise. Instead, going into this discussion, my particular area of expertise lies in reward structures, incentives, and its relation to the human psyche. So. Hear me out. Now the argument that I hear most often in favor of this system is something along the lines of now it feels like I am rewarded the entire time I'm playing or no matter what I want to do, I feel rewarded. Now both of these arguments are true in their own rights, but at the same time both of these arguments seem flawed as they seem to only consider the new participation reward system as a part of the larger machinery and not as an individual cog with its own inherent dents and troubles. Let me try to visualize this for you. Most people see this participation reward system as an extension of their already established behavior. These are the people that enter World vs. World on a daily basis and actually play the game mode as intended. They run from objective to objective, kill other players, get killed by other players, and in between all of this, they now receive extra loot compared to before. Which inherently is great. Sure, who wouldn't want extra stuff from doing their regular thing? But in order to fully grasp the impact of this single feature, we need to break the entire system apart to only look at that one thing. And trust me, in this case, it is much easier than you think it is. Much easier than you'll find in many other reward systems because it is very secularized. I'll try to dramatize this as much as possible from a seated position. Do you all remember back in the days when the best method of acquisition for, say, the gift of battle was to partake in large scale world versus world raids to take the enemy head on in awesome lag inducing battles? Well, that time is over because with the new system in place, this is the best method of acquisition. In case you can't tell what's happening in this image, it's simple. As long as your participation is maxed out, there is absolutely no reason, none whatsoever, not a single incentive to push yourself to do anything other than the bare minimum, the path of least resistance, which is to simply reset your participation timer every nine and a half minutes. Just to prove my point now, I will let this video of several hours worth of just AFK farm, farm, run, right there for the remainder of the video. There will be no more funny gifs and no more funny images. I want you to see this because I need to show you all that currently this system strongly encourages the path of least resistance by creating a baseline level of reward without ever incentivizing more than necessary gameplay or even active gameplay. Once you have full participation, which has gotten super fast, all you ever have to do to get maximum reward, the baseline reward, is to set an alarm for yourself to ring just in time for you to do any event, such as a ruin event, once every nine and a half minutes, so that your participation doesn't reset. As you can see in this video, I'm using a ruin to reset the timer, which sure is easy, but really with three borderlands and one EB map available at all times, even without these ruins, you'd still always have 
a sentry or a Doliac to take out at any given time just right outside your spawn. Trust me, because I started this entire thing back with the desert borderlands where the ruins didn't count for anything. So with this farm in place, while you are farming your gift of battle or hero's armor pieces, you can simply run off in real life and browse the web or do some cardio, read a book, or watch an entire TV series, or clean the house, you know, be productive. Now, just to be clear here, the glaring problem that I am trying to present here is not that players can do this, but rather that players aren't incentivized to do more than this. There is no reward for actual World vs. World players actively playing the game as it is intended for hours on end versus simple scrubs just minding a timer and the automatic disconnect timer while doing their homework. Diligence, expertise, and dedication to the game mode that you love is not rewarded over this. The World vs. World leveling rewards are already a complete joke to rely on, and after a certain point, VXP just becomes useless as you max out all of your upgrades. The participation reward system is the only reliable source of rewards for both parties to pull in, but it comes in at the exact same rate and so no one is actually incentivized to play the game mode properly, except for server pride. Just for reference, previously I highlighted this exact dilemma of the path of least resistance throughout all of the Heart of Thorns maps in a reddit post uh, some time ago. Some of the most glaring issues have been fixed now with those maps and oh look, everyone is now playing the maps the way that they were intended. Unfortunately, the devs responsible for the reward systems in this game still have a habit of not considering the path of least resistance when designing these reward systems. The problem persists through game modes because it's believed that the system alone will bring more people to that particular game mode, which is true, but just how it brings players to the game mode is oftentimes completely neglected. Now, a solution to the world versus world dilemma would be to incorporate the already established primary reward system that we've got going on, the world versus world level up chests, into the new secondary reward system. The primary reward system with the world XP rewards has been in the game ever since it was launched and it's been gradually updated, the latest of which brought to it the proof of heroics. This currency came with Heart of Thorns and gave players the opportunity to simply purchase hero points. Now as all of you know, this for veteran players is basically useless. And so how about letting players purchase extra World vs. World reward track potions with this exact currency? This single simple change would incentivize all players to constantly participate in the game mode actively while still retaining the baseline level of rewards already in place. This would give the World vs. World level up chest so much more value for the participation reward system as the participation reward system would now not only reward time spent doing nothing or whatever you want to do, it would also reward the amount of effort that you put in. This way, active World vs. World players would become far better rewarded than their mostly AFK counterpart thereby making the road to exclusive armor and weapons or whatever much more manageable and engaging for those players that actively participate in the game mode instead of only having it be on par with the path of least resistance. Some of you hardcore World vs. World players will probably already have come up with a slew of possible counter arguments, such as the fact that a change like this also could in turn encourage the game mode to become much more centered around the PvE aspect. This is true, though this is easily countered by ArenaNet by adding the proof of heroics to the loot table of killing other players or increasing the drop rate of the reward potions from killing other players or, you know, increase the world XP from killing other players. There really are so many things that you can do to this game mode to encourage the PvP aspect of this game mode to flourish within the reward system. You could also focus more on the importance of the objectives and the 
structures in the game mode more than the PvP aspect by simply adding huge numbers of reward potions to the end of the week match chests, which are rewarded to the winners of each week matchup. This wouldn't encourage VXP trains as much as it would encourage the fight for an actual victory for the players of a given server. Another counter argument would be to simply emphasize the importance of the daily reward system that currently is the only source of the reward potions. The problem with this though lies in the way that the daily reward system currently works. Overall, it can and will only ever act as the absolute lowest baseline. The addition of the reward potions simply created a second, much lower baseline of rewards, but didn't actually add any incentives for participation. With this, people now just log in, do their dailies in 5-10 minutes, wait out the reward timer for the participation, just, just get their reward and then leave. This same dilemma is inherent with the PvP reward track potions, where players would just hot join to get the exclusive PvP rewards by just flipping the midpoint at Skyhammer and never actually playing. These potions just accumulate over time from little to no effort, which just belittles the actual reward at the end, at least by slight margins. Which in and of itself is fine, especially in PvP, where better play in actual ranked matchups will yield you more reward points overall than the potions themselves can give, thus incentivizing you to not only play the game the way it was supposed to, but also get better at it. Because the more you win in PvP, the more rewards you will also get. In World vs World, however, the more dedicated players or guilds who actually actively play the game have no method of reliably boosting their own income through this same reward system by playing better or playing more when the alternative is simply AFK somewhere on the map to yield the exact same level of reward. Now that we're already comparing PvP and World vs World, let me just be a bit provocative. The baseline level of reward for hardcore World vs World players and non-hardcore World vs World players would be comparable to hardcore PvP players bringing in the same reward over time as hot join PvP scrubs. And that is absolutely disgustingly unfair to the hardcore World vs World players. Imagine just how butthurt the PvP scene would be from that. So please do explain to me just how the hardcore World vs Worlders are fine with this. All of these game mode exclusive armors and weapons aren't worn by the good players dedicating their time to the betterment of themselves and their gameplay. They are worn by anyone willing to AFK farm and people just doing their daily potion runs. So in conclusion, for the World vs World participation system to actually incentivize more and better gameplay from all players, ArenaNet has to extend something like their primary World vs World reward system to function alongside their secondary reward system, while obviously still preserving the value of holding objectives for extended periods of time. Until something like this happens, I'll just go and get my armor the slack way. ArenaNet, I beg of you, please give me a reason to play World vs. World. I think that's all I got for this time. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, I will see you in the mists.